Hi there guys, it's Dan here from Trading College with your weekly update. Um, so let's start then. Um, I mean, what a week, what a week it's been so far. Um, you know, we were talking, um, certainly my last update about this loss of momentum on our good old fashioned storyteller and how we'd had a red PTS you know, a number of weeks back here. We just continued, you know, we had the push down kind of relief rally, hope rally, we call it. We just rolled over here, see how, um, you know, all the news out, especially today of uh, Russia attacking Ukraine and, um, you know, sad times uh, and, and turbulent times in the market. Um, but, uh, you know, the system, uh, the PTS is catching. You know, we equally had a trend predictor here uh, back in on the middle of February, 16th of February. And uh, we've just rolled from there, you know, been uh, uh, an amazing push down in markets, uh, you know, across the board. And we've been talking about this for weeks just because of that weekly loss of momentum, you know, divergence, as we call it. Really, really nice. Um, technically, now um, we are making we've made a lower low and now a lower high. And if we close like this, we've made an even lower low. So, you know, we expect probably coming days depends on what's how, you know, market sentiment is maybe a bit of a rally and get these moving averages moving together. Nice and sideways and then maybe a, another push down and, and really we're looking at probably targets of around about 30,000. Now, if we look at that target on the weekly, it's such a significant support. Um, it is the pandemic high, pre-pandemic high, so just before pandemic came out and dropped. And, you know, price could absolutely get down to that level, which is roughly around 30,000, 20, you know, 29,000 or so. Um, and, you know, and, and, and who knows, really? Uh, certainly, you know, it's not something I look at often, but if we go to an annual chart on something like the Dow Jones, you know, 27,000 is the eight period moving average here. You know, and if this is our kind of wave sequence, you can see I've sort of drawn it out just fairly crudely. You know, are we here? That's the question. You know, are we going to do a bit of this and, and make a real you know, deep dive down? But um, yeah, we, we're working as we go, taking those sort of targets out. The PGS you know, has been fantastic. Got some great targets that we're just hitting on the daily on the Dow Jones um yeah really really nice uh with those with with that red cell um let me just get those up and show the pts targets um so just the entry here but add that entry you know next target for pts is saying 31681 yeah absolutely great absolutely great it's just been a you know really nice push push down we in this phase we did it it was great uh, we turned green and we went long. We hit 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 a target. You know, we weren't far off here, but it was always going to struggle against the tide, the tide turning, the trend turning, uh, and we rolled over. So we were green for a bit, and then you know turned red again. Kept it, played it simple in stocks, using the system really, using the system. Um, so if we just look then at uh, you know some of the other markets. Certainly, U.S. markets. I mean, heavy, heavy selling, you know, with with Russia, with uh, you know. But we've been talking about it for months about this, especially on the Nasdaq, how extended it was. It was in this real channel, and now we've uh, turned over. We've broken out of that, and we're you know we're we're down now. And I've highlighted this phase a, a few times of maybe a bit of a fourth you know fourth wave here from the pandemic low. There was some sort of one, two, three, four, real extended five, fifth wave here as we lose momentum and we just turned red and, and broke that support and you know, we could have more downside, maybe even to 12,000 zone. I mean, pre-pandemic high, it's a long way down there. I'm not sure we're going to get there um, like the Dow. Um, so, yeah, really next, next sort of targets. Um, here we've got the uh, 12,000, yeah, about 12,000, maybe a little lower, who knows? Um, so we'll play it as we go, trailing stop mode. 
all those sort of targets in place. PTS is doing a fantastic job for us. Um, just then on the uh, German DAX, and, and you know, I'll keep it to these three really, you can look at many, many um, of the markets and uh, you know, see similarities. Um, on the weekly, again, we were losing momentum. We've turned red and we've popped below our kind of zero line on our, on our um, storyteller, you know, so it could just be early days. Are we gonna do something like this, you know, here where we get just that more significant move? Potentially, potentially. I think we're probably due a bit of a relief rally, maybe up to 14,000, 14 and a half thousand, you know, just collect those moving averages. And then maybe we push down even further. And we are really close. And we, you can see where we've bounced here. I mean, I'm going to show you something in a minute on a commodity. But these key areas of support and resistance are so important on charting. And see where we've bounced there. We've just bounced off that pre-pandemic high. And, you know, if you're a trader, if, you, if you're so that way inclined, you can take advantage of that. Because from the low there, seven, you know, 13, 780 to where we're trading now, <laughs> that's two, 220 pips you could have got on a bit of a rally so um, yeah working really nicely um just onto that uh you know other things in the news are the commodities um uh and uh, we've seen some you know fantastic moves in in uh commodities we talked about crude last week you know really doing uh quite nicely for us as it loads here um, you know, really pushing to the upside. And we have always had a psychological target for a long time of $100, $100 a back barrel on US crude. And we hit that today, just popped above it. Um, I actually played a little bit of a bit of a, a cheeky, cheeky short, um, just at that, at that uh, top there. And you know the price has come come off of it because it's a psychological level. But really, we're we're green, we're long. I mean, from here, you know, we've got this divergence down here. You know, do we get into a bit of a corrective wave uh, and, and back to this previous support, eighty five dollars? Um, you know, it would suggest it here if I kind of count the waves again. You know, one, two, we're lovely kind of three wave here. You know ending at $100, and maybe we do a bit of a, you know, some sort of correction down A, B, C like this, and, and then we and then we continue up and, and maybe do double top at $100 into the fifth wave or, or, or even further. If we look again, just historically um, at, uh, you know, something like a monthly chart, you know, we can see there's other targets here where oil has been before. Um, so it's $110 a barrel, you know, plus, plus, plus $140 a barrel back in 2008 before the, the sort of crash. So could we get to those level in the next phase? But I think we're due a bit of a pullback and then, you know, we, we push higher. The PTS, you know, is giving us fantastic targets again um, if we just pop on the entries here. You know, we've hit we've hit a, a sort of um, a third target here. We can extend those from from a monthly perspective. So you know we're beyond that now on the recent sort of buy. Uh, we can we can extend those uh, to being a, a bigger target if we just type in there something like that. Um, you know we I mean that's a big target up there, but you can see it's this sort of double double top zone. So um, you know, we'll watch that. We still maintain the long despite maybe opportunities to uh, hedge and, and go a bit short at resistance. And really in commodities, it's been about that kind of resistance and his, these historical levels. I took a bit of a trade uh, today or in soybeans, um, you know, which, is, which has been a fantastic market. Uh, I think uh, Average has been talking about it for um, weeks and months and it's just, you know, absolutely boomed up and, and done really nicely on the uptrend, you know, big pullback and we've just extended. And I've been looking, I was looking at this today where we were up at the highs. If we go look, we scan left and we look in 2012 and we hit around this sort of, it was around 1800, sort of 1770. And I was just looking at that today and saying, you know what, that's that is 12 years ago that we hit that price. And we had one of these um, in natural gas, which I'll show you. But from there, we just kind of got that double top drop today, just back to back to a level of support. But, you know, we maintain long because we've got 
you know, green PTS and up. It's just it's just a bit extended. A lot of the commodities are overcooked, um, certainly with some of the troubles at the moment, all driven really by oil. Uh, natural gas is, is another one that's a real hot topic. Um, I'll, I'll just show you that in you know, a bit of education as well as telling you what's going on with the markets. You know, I took this trade where we were pushing up here um, in September, uh, sorry, in, in October, and I looked left. I saw this high, you know, this band of resistance, 2014 to so seven years ago. That one absolutely plummeted, you know, absolutely pushed down from from that high, and and that's what I was looking for really in in soybeans today. And who knows, we, we could go further. But we turned green again. We've got new, uh, you know, PTS buys. So uh, natural gas certainly with uh, political climate as well. Be it Russia being a major gas producer, then uh, you know we're we're looking at you know natural gas getting more expensive, and we we have got a target up here of uh, yeah sixty sixty nine dollars on our on our PTS. So that's uh, that's it really, guys, for me. Um, yeah, watch out for those commodities. You know, a little bit overcooked at the moment, so expecting some sort of pullbacks as we see kind of daily and weekly sort of uh, separations and. Uh, and then maybe we'll continue into uh, trending mode following the PTS. Right. Cheers, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.